fight, right? So we're not talking about the over guard pass or the under, we're talking about when the guy stands up, grab your legs here, and circles to the side, okay? And again, we're talking about creating scenarios that most people will just give up and accept the guard pass, all right? So when the guy bull fights, all of us are trained to grab this leaf because it's always there for us, right? There's something you can do from here that is so simple that it becomes almost impossible for him to finish as long as you can anticipate his move. You know he's going to pass one side or the other, so grab this lead. He's going to move and try to drop his shoulder on my belt. As, I, as he does that, I, I face to the outside and I put my elbow on the ground. Okay? So what happens here is he throws my leg to the side and... Now, his arm is trapped on that position. There is no way he's gonna pass my guard. Then you can say, oh, but he's got your back. No, he doesn't because I have his arm. Okay, he's under control. Now what I'm gonna do from here, guys, is just to recover the guard. So I'm gonna go on my knees, all right? As I come on my knees, as I come on my knees, I push his hand away to break his grip, and then I'm gonna sit in front of him back again, all right? To the other side, so he's gonna go fight, I push his arm away, but I have to sit up. That's why I said you have to anticipate. If he does that, and you stay here, there's no way I can come up, okay? So I gotta go before he comes. He's passing my gun. Do this. You push your elbow, you push your arm. And then you come all the way on your knees, push his arm away to break his grip, and then you square up again. Setting up your spider bar, or whatever guard you like, all right? Let's get to work, guys. 